Brooklyn Independent Television. Brighton Beach is named after a beach resort in England, also known as Brighton Beach. Many now refer to the neighborhood as Little Odessa or Little Russia, as it's home to one of the largest number of Russian people outside of Moscow. There are quite a few Russian businesses in the area, including MI International, Russian Bazaar, or Brighton Bazaar as we know it, and we have a host of Russian businesses and great shopping here. So come on down and visit Brighton Beach. New York City is charming because of its great diversity. And most communities in New York City are fragmented culturally. So, Community Board 13 came up with a great idea and involved all the community-based organizations, including Brighton Neighborhood Association, in getting this off. In one of the pavilions here on the boardwalk, volunteers came from all parts of this island, along with people who live here from Mexico, from Russia, Philippines, etc., to sit around under a pavilion like this one and have conversation. In Joan Rivers' words, can we talk? My name is Eddie Mark and I'm with the Community Board 13. I'm the current chair of the Community Board. Our role today is we wanted to bring the people together for a conversational classroom on the boardwalk. People from uh, the Brighton Beach area and from the Gravesend area and the Coney Island area, uh, we brought them together to practice their English. Today we're going to do uh, topics about your free time and hobbies. We have students from the Coney Island Generation Gap, the Coney Island Greeters. We have the senior centers here. Uh, we also have the Shorefront Y and we also have the library here too. Uh, and we also have BNA, the Brighton Neighborhood Association, and we have our fellow board members from the Community Board 13. We have uh, students, uh, ESL students, who are here to practice their English. Um, and we thought that coming to the boardwalk, they will learn uh, to speak English uh, with other people who are in the neighborhood. And uh, since this is their, uh, what do you call it, their natural resources in the backyard, we thought that this would be an ideal place for them to learn. What do, you, what do you want us to do exactly? All right. Ask a question? What we're going to do is we're going to go down the list and uh, ask the questions about uh, your hobbies. We realize that uh, ESL classes are set in uh, schools and that what happens there is they are comfortable with a teacher and a classroom setting. We realize that when they go home, they don't have a chance to practice their English. And we wanted them to come and experience with their fellow neighbors and residents in the community to practice their English. What are you doing this weekend? Ooh. I think I learned more from them than they learned from me, and I thank them for that. I really don't. You're going to do it next week again? Yes. That's a list of questions we will be discussing today. Most of the time, they're in the classroom and they're um, learning the grammar part of uh, English, and here they come and they're actually practicing conversation. What did you do last summer vacation, Jenny? I work for the Brighton Neighborhood Association. I'm the program di director for the Spanish Outreach. BNA got involved um, with the Community Board 13, uh, reached out to us, and they needed volunteers for this program. I had um, previously run a two-year program of ESL, and I ran this curri uh, conversation curriculum, which is the one that we're running today. This program came about uh, about a couple of weeks ago where uh, the state controller came down to Brighton Beach, Coney Island to say that we were one of the fastest growing immigrant neighborhoods. And realizing that we really haven't addressed that issue for them, so what we decided to do was to get something basic for them to uh, service it with the ESL uh, language. And we thought that this would help them uh, come and understand that there, there are people who want to help them with the services. It's free for all the community. This program benefits the students who are uh, learning English 
and, uh, as a second language in practicing their English. Do you have a she's favorite she's singer, 17. a favorite singer or a favorite group so that you like that, to listen to? to I always I listen, <laughs> listen Chinese, Chinese singer. The students that participate today are students uh, from different backgrounds, mainly Russian, uh, we have some Asian, some Hispanic, and uh, some Pakistani as well. Can you put your name and your address here? Most of the participants in, uh, today are new American immigrants who are learning and practicing their English in order to be part of uh, their new environment. Most of them have children who uh, need to help them with their homework at, at home. Some of them need uh, to find a job, so they need the English for work. And some of them are just doing for leisure. I mean, they're here, they're senior citizens, and just to go shopping, they need to learn English. As you can see, the instructors are of different uh, backgrounds. They are, some of them are students, uh, college students, high school students that volunteered their time. We had some retirees in the neighborhood that wanted to help out in doing uh, volunteer work. And this uh, was a perfect way to help out. So we have a very large diversity of background of the students and of the instructors. We wanted to understand that uh, there's a major uh, diversity in the community and we wanted to give them back uh, a service that they needed in the neighborhood. This is the first year that we have started this program and we hope that it will continue as it goes in the later months and maybe next year too. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.